Hey, how you doing? This is Serge de Haiti as the dreaded CPA with Effective Tax Solutions. And today I wanted to share a message today for the college students out there that's um, studying to get into whatever profession that you're in. You know, make sure that you study hard and you take everything seriously. And try not to spend too much time in college. Because the longer you stay, the more it's going to cost you. You know, that's one advice I can give right now. But the main thing that I wanted to um, share with you all is that every, when I was in college, you know, every semester I would get a refund of the financial aid that I would get every semester. And I would eventually, you know, save that money and do have to use it in the future to take care of some of my necessary expenses. At the time I had a, a baby at the time, so I was a single parent, so I had to take care of my child and do what I had to do on my own. <laughs> but other students that were in college at the time, they didn't have that type of responsibility. So what they would do, they would take that money and they would go out to the mall buy all kinds of jewelry, all types of clothes, you know, some even would go out and, and, and buy a car, you know, just to keep up with the Joneses. And then at the end of the semester, they would have nothing, and I would see them. But this message here is not to reflect on that, but to give you um, a gem as far as what to do with that money. See, the best thing that you could do for yourself while you're in college is try to generate some assets that will produce some passive income for you in the future. And right now is, is the perfect time for you because you don't have that many responsibilities. You have some you're in college, so you have some type of cushion that can take care of you at the time, and you can, and you have somewhat of a, a source of income coming in. <clears throat> now, at the time, you can, when I was in college, I was getting maybe like a four thousand dollar refund on my financial aid or whatnot, student loans that came in. If I would have took that cash <laughs> and stacked it up for like maybe a year or two while I was in college, I could have used that money as a down payment. It would have been at least about 20% or so on a, a real estate property. Back then, real estate was probably at 100,000 to 150, probably less than that. I don't have the numbers on the top of my head. But I would have been able to have a, a decent amount of property and I could have used that to use as the down payment, purchase the property, rent out the property, now I got tenants in there, and now they're paying my mortgage and paying me at the same time while I'm living on campus or living at home, whatnot. And then by the time I get done with college, I have an asset that's bringing me money in the future. So, at the conclusion of this video, I just wanted to just let you know that use your your time and your resources wisely. And um, the best thing you could do for yourself is purchase some income producing property that will generate some income in the future. So I hope this hits you wisely. And this is Serge D. Haiti, your dreaded CPA with Effective Tax Solution, and you all be great out there.